Hey everyone, this is Daniel from fitnessbundle.com and today we've got a really nice quick upper body workout for you. There's no warm up or cool down included with this, so you're gonna to wanna to do that on your own. But other than that, we're gonna be going through six different exercises, two sets of 10 repetitions each. We're just gonna be running back and forth in an ABAB pattern until we've got all six of them done. All right, so our first exercise is going to be just a regular chest fly. So you can do this on a bench if you have one handy. I'm just gonna be doing this on the floor in case the, those of you at home don't have a bench. So. Grab that weight you need for that. I'm going to be using right around 25 pounds per hand. Go ahead and lay down flat on your back. Whoa. Slight, slight bend in that elbow, and then nice and slow, drop them off to the side. Out as wide as is comfortable, right back up again, pause right above that chest, and back down. Just keep those lungs open, don't hold your breath. You want to make sure, like I said, you keep just a slight bend in that elbow, getting down as low as you can. If you're doing this on the floor like I am, those, that upper arm should completely touch the floor. Just barely, barely touch it. You don't want to let those arms relax. If you're using a bench, on the other hand, you want to let those elbows drop as low as is comfortable, as low as you can control. Almost done. Just about three more. Two left, and last one, and let that relax, go and drop those dumbbells, and move directly into the next exercise, which is going to be a reverse fly, so the same exact position we were just doing, but this time standing, pulling back, so go ahead and grab that weight for that exercise. This one is typically much, much harder than a traditional fly, so you're going to want to use a lot less weight. Again, focus on form. You want to make sure everything's really nice and clean. So flat back, your tip straight forward, slight bend in that knee. Get that chest as parallel to the ground as you can, and up and out to the side. Try to get a little bit of a pause up the top. Let it drop nice and slow. Again, keep those lungs open. Just two more. Last one. And let it relax. All right, drop them back down. So arms shake out for just a second. We're going right back in to that chest fly again. So reset that weight. All right, flat on your back, arms right above your chest, slight bend in that elbow, and start them up out to the side, and right back up. So watch that form, keep all those core muscles nice and tight even though they're not doing anything. Lungs open, arms slightly bent, that's halfway. Two more. And last one. Go drop those. We use a little bit less weight for our reverse fly this time. This is 10 pounds per hand. I've got the slugs in here, so it's a little bit heavier. Again, nice reverse fly. Trying to get as much range of motion, pulling those arms back as you can. Flat back, tip over as parallel to the ground as you can, and up and out to the side. Five, halfway, keep that back flat. 
You're gonna have a tendency you wanna kinda of stand up more and more as you do this. Try to keep everything as parallel to the ground as you can. Keep those lungs open. And let that relax. All right, set those down for just a second. Let those arms rest for just a bit. We're going to be doing a ventral fly and a pull over next. So go ahead and grab those weights for those. Ventral raise first. So ventral raise is gonna be coming straight up in front and the pull over is gonna be the same position laying flat on your back. So ventral raise, let's see. This one's gonna be actually relatively difficult. Those shoulders are usually pretty weak. So I'm gonna start right, nice and light. Standing straight up and tall, or straight up and down, nice and tall. Slight bend in that knee, straight line through your back, keep a neutral spine. Slowly pull those arms straight up to at least shoulder height, then nice and slow back down. If you want a little bit more range of motion, you can go ahead and bring them all the way over your head. Nice and slow back down. Slight, slight bend in that elbow. His palms facing down towards the ground. It's halfway. Try to control that pace on those dumbbells. Try to make them identical left to right. One more. And let it relax. All right, I'm gonna bump up my weight just a little bit. So laying flat on your back again. Those arms straight up over top of your head, palms facing down towards those toes. Nice and slow with those Barely, barely a little bit of a bend, slight bend in that elbow. You're gonna drop those hands over top of your head. As close to the ground as you can, right back up over top of that chest. If you're doing this on a bench, you might wanna use a little bit lighter weight and try to get a really good full range of motion so those arms are in a straight line with that chest or possibly even lower depending on the flexibility and range of motion you, can't, you have. Just make sure you start really light. You only go as far as you can control. That's five. Just keep those lungs open. One more. All right, let's stand back up. Those arms shake out for just a second. We're gonna be doing another ventral raise next. All right, go ahead and grab those weights. Nice flat back, slight bend in that knee. Pull it straight up in front of that chest, all the way over your head if you want. Slowly back down, right back up. Keep them going, keep those lungs open. Two more. Last one. And let it relax, gonna drop them down. Got one more set of those pullovers, so go ahead and select your weight for that. So you can go a little 
little bit lighter in this one, dropping down to 15 pounds per hand. All right, flat on your back again, arms straight above your head, hands facing down towards those feet, and drop them out. Flat back. Try to keep that lower back pressed against that mat or against that bench. Lungs open. A little over halfway. Two more. And let it relax. All right. Set those dumbbells down for again for just a second. Shake those arms out. We've got two exercises left to go. We're doing a bicep curl and a tricep extension. So bicep curl, you'll be doing standing, just a traditional one, palms facing in. Tricep extension is gonna be bent over, kicking those triceps back. So tricep kickback is another name for it. So bicep curls, I'm gonna start with those first. I'm gonna start off with 25 pounds. See how those arms hold out on this one. So nice straight back. Again, slight bend in that knee if you want to. Palms facing forward and pull them straight up. Back down to your sides. Keep that elbow directly underneath that shoulder. Again, keep those lungs open. Move nice and slow and deliberate. Two more. And last one. And let it relax. All right, that was 25 pounds per hand. That was getting a little bit hard towards the end, so I'm going to drop on that next one. So before we do that, though, we've got our tricep kickback. So I'm using a little bit less for this. The triceps just aren't as strong as that bicep. I'm going to use a little bit less than that. All right, I'm going to use 15 pounds per hand. Again, you're going to be using a nice flat back. Slight bend in that knee or as much of a bend as you need to to get a flat back compared to the ground. Tip it over, elbows up to your sides, and kick them back. Try to keep that upper arm as parallel to the ground as you can. It's halfway. Two more, keep those lungs open. And let that relax, set those dumbbells down. And go ahead and select the weight for the next round of those bicep curls. We drop them down to 20 per hand on this one. Just let those dumbbells, or sorry, let those arms relax for a second before we grab those dumbbells again. We should have one more set of each of these. So let's go ahead and get them done. All right, last round of that dumbbell curl. Stand nice and straight and tall, slight bend in that knee, palms facing forward, elbow directly underneath that shoulder and curl it up. Keep those lungs open. Nice slow controlled motion. Don't build any momentum into this, no swinging. It's two more. A 
last one. And let her relax. All right. One more round of that tricep kickback. Back to 15 pounds on this one. Let's those arms shake out for just a second. All right, let's get them done. All right, nice flat back. Parallel to the ground as close to as you can. Arms up, upper arm parallel to the ground, and kick it back. Keep those feet relatively narrow. As you'll notice, I'm not bringing my hands in past directly underneath my elbow, because that means I'm no longer using my tricep. But from that point up, with bicep. Two more. Ooh, and let it relax. All right, that is it. That was our last exercise, last repetition of our last set. So that means this workout is complete. Good job. Make sure you get a little bit of a cool down in before you're completely done. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time.